Hi, this is John Kreider with Thor Motor Coach, and I'm here to talk to you about our new Gemini Motorhome. This is built on the Ford Transit chassis, and this is actually the first entry into the North American market for a motorhome on the Transit chassis. As you can see here, the Gemini is compact. It's going to be easy to maneuver. It's part of our RUV line, which uh, all of our RUV RUVs are recreational utility vehicles. And those vehicles are set up to be small, compact, easy to maneuver, and going to do the same kind of things that your big SUV does, except now you're going to get a kitchen, a bathroom, and a true sleeping area. On the outside of the coach, you'll notice we have our HD Max uh, exterior package. With the HD Max, you can see you get a colored fiberglass. That fiberglass goes all the way through. It gives you a good look, and it's definitely upgraded from what we've had in the past when you looked at motorhomes. And because of the HD Max, you can see we've added things like frameless windows. The frameless windows give you a good look. They're also jealousy style, so now you can crank these out, and when it's raining outside, you can still get ventilation throughout the coach. Other attributes on the outside of this motorhome, you can see we have exterior speakers, which when we move to the inside, we've got a DVD player radio that actually allows you to put sound out underneath your patio awning, so that way when you're tailgating or you're just enjoying your campsite, uh, now you have some music. And of course, we can't forget that this also comes with an available exterior television. So this 32-inch TV is all set up for all your, your tailgating or camping needs. And it's really nice when you're out underneath the uh, patio awning, uh, if you want to just watch the local news, or uh, maybe you're going to have movie night and have all the kids or grandkids or neighbors over. Uh, it gives everybody something to do out underneath the patio. Of course, when you're looking at a motorhome, one of the things that you're going to want is you're going to want plenty of storage. So we've got multiple storage compartments. The storage compartments are large. Um, they are nice and deep, so you can pack anything you pretty much want to to bring with you on the road. And of course, this is just one storage compartment here, and we'll see a couple more as we work our way back. As we do move towards the back of the coach, you'll notice that we do have our water heater located here. This is the new Girard tankless water heater. And we really like it because they've taken all the guesswork out of having nice hot water so you can have a nice hot shower or maybe you can do the dishes. There's a single control up inside the bedroom area. You simply turn it to the temperature that you want the water heater to heat to and that's it. Turn it on, turn it off. You really don't have to do anything else with the system. And of course, because it's tankless, you can reduce some of the weight um, inside of the motorhome so you have more cargo carrying capacity and you're going to have a quicker heat up time and not have to worry about the recovery like on a typical six gallon or ten gallon gas water heater. Also as we move our way back I don't know if you can see up above me but you'll notice that we have a patio awning. Your patio awning it's legless. You can see there's nothing that comes down and intrudes on the side walls. With that legless awning now you can put the awning out you don't have to worry about running underneath and hitting your head or or running into anything. Also, it's pretty nice because all the controls are built in, so when the wind gets just a little bit too gusty, instead of you having to run home and worry about retracting your patio awning, it's gonna retract on its own, put everything away nicely, and make sure that when you get ready to leave, your awning isn't gonna be left to the campsite. Now let's take a trip uh, to the back of the coach here, and in this storage compartment, we're gonna see two access points. We're gonna see one here on the side, and then we'll see in a second, you're gonna see one on the other side. But this storage is nice, it's big, it's all well lit. It's got rotocast on the inside here. Rotocast is a plastic, it's very lightweight, but it's also very durable. It also has ribs at the bottom, which now allows you, if you spill something in there, or maybe you want to throw some ice in there to make yourself a homemade cooler, uh, you don't have to worry about it uh, delaminating or getting moldy or mildew. You can simply just wash the thing out and, uh, and kind of go. This storage compartment is not only accessible from the side, but we can also get to it by moving around here to the back of the motorhome. This nice big storage area here, it's passed through from one side to the other. It gives you plenty of places to put your fishing poles or your camping chairs or uh, who knows, maybe you get your favorite rock collection. It makes it real simple to get back here and uh, put everything in one location. And of course, as we look at the back here, uh, another thing that we'll take a look at is the slide room. So another thing when you're looking at the transit chassis out there, um, you've got to engineer these things pretty well to be able to allow yourself enough weight to be able to put a slide room on it. So this nice deep slide room comes out about three feet out the rear of the coach. So now you drive down the road, it feels like 23 feet, but when you get ready to camp, it feels like 26 feet. So you have a much larger living area with the slide out room that comes out the back and we don't take up any of that valuable storage area or living space inside. Your backup monitor is standard. It comes with, with every coach and we'll see that on a rear view monitor that's located up in the dash area. 
And also you have nice bright LED lights that are on the back, along with a 5,000 pound trailer hitch. So now you can hook up your favorite tow vehicle, small trailer, maybe pull your, uh, your little um, ATV with you wherever you wanna go. And of course that's got a seven way round connector. So simply hook up your brake controller and you're off and running. Let's venture around to the other side so I can show you just a few other things that you'll notice on the outside of this Gemini motorhome. Around on the driver's side of the coach, we'll notice a few things. First, we have our exterior storage bay that houses all of our black, our gray, and our fresh water tank. So here, we can get right to our black and our gray tank. We can dump them very easily. This area is enclosed, so now if you wanna leave your sewer hose connected or leave it inside the storage area, it's all ready to go for you next time you're out and about. And then we move on here, we've got our outdoor connection. So now we have um, where we hook up our electrical when we're plugged into the campsite or in our home. And it's a pretty nice feature because it's got a light on it. So when I plug in and I know I have power, I'll see it out here. So I don't have to actually go inside the motor home and check to see that I have power. You have a parked cable section out here. We also have an exterior shower. So now when the kids or the dog or anybody's out camping and uh, you want to take and you want to spray everybody off just a little bit before they're ready to go back to the coach, you're going to save yourself some time from uh, cleaning once we, uh, once we do that. More exterior storage is on the outside. Here we can see our 30 amp detachable power cord. This is what we'd plug into the sidewall back there where it flipped up. Uh, the nice thing about being detachable is you don't have to worry about winding it up at any single storage compartment. You can pretty much store it wherever you'd like, wherever you've made the, the most space for the power cord. And because it's detachable, if anything would ever happen to that or it got damaged, you could simply just replace it and get that from uh, any one of your RV camping stores. Get it right out of their parts department. LP tank is located up here at the front. And I should mention the fact that this motorhome is powered by a 3,600 watt LP generator. Uh, it's much better than most of the 2.8 or the 2,800 watt generators out there because you're gonna get a lot more power. You can run your air conditioner all the time. It doesn't really matter how hot or humid it gets. Um, or if you wanna run the microwave and you wanna run the air conditioner, uh, there's no kind of automatic shutoff valve that some motorhomes will experience where if you wanna use the microwave, the air conditioner turns off or vice versa. So this is gonna allow you to run all your appliances, everything inside the motorhome at one time without having to um, have additional power to make it run. Now let's go to the front and look at what the cab has to offer on this new Transit. The Transit chassis is extremely popular in Europe, but now it's finally come to the United States. This Transit allows us to have a motorhome and we have a GVWR of 10,360 pounds. Now our motorhome is powered with the inline five cylinder diesel engine. The reason we've gone diesel instead of gas is for maximum fuel efficiency. I've actually had this motorhome on the road and I can tell you over a 600 mile period, I averaged more than 16 miles per gallon loaded to GVWR. So I got really good results for what this coach offers. It's got nice pickup, it's got plenty of passing power. Also, it's very comfortable to drive. The captain's chairs are comfortable, your cockpit seating area is very comfortable, and the diesel engine is very responsive. Now, of course, when it comes to diesel engines, almost all diesel engines out there are gonna require, obviously, diesel fuel, but they also may require DEF. DEF is diesel exhaust fluid. Uh, the diesel exhaust fluid on a lot of coaches is somewhat difficult to get to. But here on the Transit chassis, as you can see, if I simply just open the door, I have a nice wide opening door, I'm able to come and get to my fuel fill very easily. Now the thing that I like about this is when I'm filling fuel if I want to, I can open the door, I can come back, I can close and I can lock this and that keeps anybody from going in and out of the cab of my chassis. But not only that, I also have access to the DEF tank. So there is a small container or a small opening right underneath the fuel door and you can see fuel here and it is capless which is really nice so you don't have to worry about losing your gas cap or your your diesel cap and then we've got our DEF fill here on the bottom so when you're at the pay at the pump a lot of places will have DEF available so now you can fill your DEF fill your diesel fluid and you're all good to go close those back up the other thing that I like too is then once the door is closed and I've locked my motor home for the evening. Now nobody can get in here and access my diesel fuel. It gives me a little peace of mind to let me know nobody can put anything in there. Let's go around to the very front of the motor home here and take a little peek under the hood so you can see exactly what that inline five looks like. 
All right, so this inline five-cylinder diesel is very compact. It's 3.2 liters. It packs 185 horsepower and 350 pound-foot of torque. That's gonna get you going. It's gonna get you up the hill and it's gonna help you maintain speed. So obviously the lower horsepower is gonna help us with fuel efficiency. The higher torque rating at 350 foot-pounds is gonna help us climb a hill and maintain whatever speed we're going up the hill and down the hill. The other nice thing is we do have what we call manumatic shifting in here. So I can manually limit the gear that the engine or the transmission will actually shift into, either as high as I want or as low as I want, which also will help retard the speed that's on the coach as it goes up or down a hill. It's very nice because it's done right from the gear shift selector and right at the dash and it's easy to access. A few of the other things, you got your washer fill, which is really easy to get to. Your power steering is easy to get to. You can access your engine oil very easily. Also your radiator fluid um, and anything else that you need at the front is easily accessible along with your fuse panel and your air intake along with your air cleaner box. Very simple, very easy to get to. And of course, um, they've been building this chassis and this engine in Europe for a long time. So we have a real proven winner now that it's here in the United States. As we step up inside of this new Gemini motorhome, you'll notice on the wall here, we have a couple of things. We have our in-house radio system, which controls the exterior speakers that we talked about earlier, but it also has a DVD function, CD, and it also has Bluetooth. So now I can connect my favorite smart device, whether it's my phone or my tablet, I can go to something like Sirius XM app. And now I can listen to Sirius XM if I'm subscribed and I can listen to that on my radio. There's three sets of speaker output so I can listen to it outside, I can listen to it in the living area, or I can listen to it back in the bedroom. So pretty much I control where the music's gonna go. This also has the DVD output that goes to all my TVs. So now I can play DVDs throughout the coach. And I also even have a USB input. So now if I wanna put some MP3 files or I have some uh, books on audio, I can take those, load them in here, and I can listen to them there. The control panel here is very simple. It's all labeled, lays everything out for you. You have your generator start. You have all your tank levels here that tell you exactly how much water, gray and black, you have in all your tanks. You also can extend the slide out room that's in the back of the motorhome, turn on your water pump, your water heaters, and uh, anything else that might be located there, depending on what options you have installed. We have a nice big grab handle when we walk into the coach. So not only is this double as a grab handle for when you walk into the motorhome, it's also gonna work um, in the cockpit area as we get in and out of the cockpit area. We'll work our way up into the motorhome. And of course, from back there, you can probably see that we've got a pretty nice looking skylight here. Now, this is very unique to Thor Motor Coach because it's a windshield, just like we have one on the front of the coach. It's gonna protect you up here uh, as far as the way that the glass is laminated. Uh, but also it's got a nice clean shroud, everything looks good. And of course you're going, well, how am I gonna cover this up? Well, we do that quite simply with a button that's located right here in the dash. We can take, push it, and a shade comes right down. It's all concealed when you're not using it. When it closes, you're gonna see it's nice and finished. And this way you can block out all the light, keep some of the heat down. But then when you get ready to travel, you can take, lift the shade back up, and then you've got a great viewing area to look at the moon and the stars as you travel down the road. When it's time to uh, put camp up, we simply push the button the opposite direction, and it goes right back up. Why don't you come inside here with me and let me show you a little bit more on this Gemini motorhome. Here we are up in the cockpit of this new Gemini motorhome. And as you can see here, the Ford Transit chassis is laid out very nicely. First of all, all the controls are very easy to get to. Um, you can see before we were talking about, I can reach up and I can put that window shade down that's up there in the skylight. I can control that right here. So as I'm driving, if it's getting too hot back there and the kids are all seat belted in, I can simply just hit the button to bring the shade down or make it go the opposite direction. I also like the layout because the gear shift is nice and high. I've got a, um, a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So now I can pull it off to fit me just right. Also, the passenger seat swivels. So I can turn that seat around after we get parked somewhere and I can actually uh, enjoy what's going on in the living room. So it gives me one more seat that's included in my living area. Um, the, uh, the, the readout on the dash is very nice. I can scroll through it. Um, the information that's there gives me um, the number of miles I have until I um, need to get fuel. It gives me some more information about uh, what my fuel economy is. It tells me what my overall trip ratio looks like and everything like that. I also have heated mirrors, traction control system up here. I have my mirror control. I have my headlight control. Everything is very easy to use. I also like the fact that the windows themselves are power down, 
but then also one touch up. So I get one touch up and down. And then last but not least, as we look at the entire dash area here, very easy media layout so I can get to everything that I want to. I've got a plug in here if I want to use eighth inch jack to plug in my tablet or my smartphone. And then I also have the ability to have a rear view mirror. Now the rear view mirror, I'm not going to be able to see out the back of the motorhome, but I am going to be able to see what's going on in the living area. So that's also peace of mind that allows you to see when everybody's in seatbelts or if somebody gets up to use the restroom or if somebody needs to, if we need to pull over or simply just be able to look and see what people are saying behind you. And that rear view mirror also doubles as your backup monitor. So if I take and engage the brake here, shift into reverse, I will have a window that pops up on my rear view mirror that'll show me what's behind me. It's nice because it's got a um, little distance reading across the, uh, the display. So I get a good readout of exactly where my camera is located and also what's behind me. And that once again, gives me a good picture behind so I can see when I'm backing to make sure that I'm not gonna run into anything. We've really thought of a lot of things inside of the cockpit area here. So let's move on to our next area. One of the things customers really like about the interior of this motorhome is how it contrasts in color. As you can see here, we have a nice comfortable sofa. And in just a second, I'll show you just how easy the sofa is to make down into a bed. But we've got lots of things with our darks and our lights. We've got uh, all kinds of contrast as far as the decor panel goes um, and just the overall color of the furniture, whether it's two-tone or whether it's, uh, it's a single tone, everything goes together very well. And of course, it looks considerably different than today's traditional motorhomes out there. Once again, that's why we call this an RUV because it's really anything outside of the ordinary and it's really extraordinary when it comes to a motorhome. Uh, th like I said, this sofa makes very simply into a bed. I simply lift up, push down, and now I have my sleeping surface. Also, I can remove the armrest on both sides, and if I want to do that, it makes my sleeping area a little bit larger. So now if you got the kids or the grandkids, or maybe you're just going to travel and sleep for an evening, you've got an easy way to get in and out of bed. So I can simply put that back up. And if you notice when I was uh, putting it down, we do have seat belts in the sofa. So the seat belts in the sofa, obviously, now your loved ones can be buckled in as you go down the road. Another thing that we hear a lot of um, good things about is the way we've done this kick panel underneath. It's got all your storage for tables that are located inside of the coach. And uh, the tables are real, are real simple. I have a base leg, that's what I'm gonna put here. And then I also have my table. Now, this is all stored away in a specific storage area that's located underneath the sofa. When I get ready to put this in place, I simply pull my table leg out. I'm gonna put that in place. I screw that in. As soon as I get that screwed in, I'll take and I will put my table right on top. And it's that simple. Now I'm ready to drive down the road or I'm, um, if I wanna make a meal, here's a place where I can sit and eat. If the kids wanna be here, they can be on their, their iPods or their tablets or any of their Android devices. Um, We'll show you a quick shot real quick. We've got a cup holder and a charging station that's already built in in this area. So now you don't have to worry about drinks going anywhere as you're going down the road. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to keep all those electronics charged. And that's why we've offered the, uh, the charging station right here at the sofa where everybody's gonna be spending most of their time. So let's go take a look at this kitchen that's right behind me and see what it has to offer. Another thing that really sets this motorhome apart from everything else out there is the overhead cabinetry. You can see here we have laminate on the outside of the cabinetry. You can see that it's got nice spring-loaded um, catches that lift the door up. Also, when you put the doors down, you can see that they stay shut without having to have any initial catches or any other catches on it. We have things like a nice big cooking area. So you got your flat cooktop. So if you want to use this, you've got a little protection from your window balance and you've got a two burner cooktop. Also, we have a nice big deep single bowl sink here. It's all stainless steel. And of course you have your nozzle that pulls out. So a very modern contemporary look and feel to the inside of this. Same kind of thing here. We look at all of our lights in the coach. They're all LED. So you're going to have nice efficient lighting, but you're also not going to use nearly as much um, energy as you would with a halogen or an incandescent bulb. And then of course we also have other areas here. So you've got storage behind this cabinet. We have our microwave that's nice and low. So now if you want to get into the microwave, I can simply just put things in and out close the door, operate it from here, so I don't have to worry about trying to lift something up high and have it spill on me if I'm a little bit shorter. 
nice big drawer storage here. So pots, pans, pretty much towels, whatever you can think of can go right down here. And then as we work our way back, you can see that we move to our refrigerator. Now, we really like this refrigerator and we hope you will too because it's a three-way refrigerator. So now we're a traditional RV refrigerator. We'll only work off of 110 volt electric or LP gas. This also works off of 12 volt. So the 12 volt gives you the option of going down the road, not running your generator, not using any LP gas, and still keeping everything inside of your refrigerator nice and cold. And of course, it's got its own little built-in freezer along with this, 5.5 cubic foot. So you got some pretty good storage there to take uh, anything you want along on the road. Storage up above, so we have just a little bit more. Also, this is where all of our electronics are located. So we do have um, a place to put a DVD player and also we have a switch box up here, which is all HDMI that goes out to all the TVs. So we run HDMI out of the radio where the DVD player is located, come up to this area, and then we distribute the HDMI throughout the coach. So now you get high definition picture at every motorhome or every TV inside of this motorhome. We also have some additional storage back here. So whether you want to use this for um, kind of a pantry space area, um, we have access down here, which will actually get us to our fresh water tank, also get us to the back of our water heater. So when it comes to winterizing the coach, it's very simple. And then of course we move back here into the bathroom area. And I really want to show off this bathroom area because in most small motor homes, you're going to get something like a wet bath or you're going to get something that's so small it's not even usable. Well, we've come up with a way to make a bathroom that's usable that's space conscious and also fits into a small motorhome. So now we give you the best of all worlds. Like I said, sometimes you have to be a little ingenious when it comes to designing bathrooms for smaller motorhomes. Normally you just get a single opening door like this. So everything would be kind of a squeeze trying to get in and out of the bathroom. But we've taken, we've opened it up so you can go up and down the hallway by just having a single door that opens and closes like a traditional but also we've designed it where you can actually take this door, pop it back, because we know that most of the time this will be a two person motorhome. You have this big open space now. So now I go from my shower, I go from my, uh, my lav bowl, my toilet, everything is right here and it all opens up into the bedroom area. So now I've got plenty of space where I can go. I can get into my wardrobe that's right here, or I can go to my drawer storage that I've got here. I can get into all of this area and I'm not confined. But on top of that, if I want to make it where I can have people going up and down the hallway, I can still close this door and then I have full access for privacy this way. Or if I want to just sneak outside of the, uh, the door, I can sneak out and sneak through. All too often when you come to the back of a smaller motor home and you go to the bedroom area, you're a little disappointed because there's not a lot of room to move around. So as you can see, I've got my bed down. I've got plenty of space. This is a full size queen back here. I've got big storage that's back here in the back, just like I have up front. I've got some really cool little cubby holes that are here on the side. So now if I want a place to put my cell phone or put some knickknacks or, you know, put some books or anything else I can think of, I've got little extra space here that I can go to. But one of the things, like I said, is the, the space is always an issue. So how could we design a motorhome that gives you a maximum amount of space in the bedroom area and still allows you to have a comfortable sleeping area? Well, we've done it by designing the platform in the back here to house the mattress, first of all. So you've got your built-in box spring here. So you've got wood slats here, just like they use in Europe. That's what's gonna support you when you actually sleep here. So now you're not just taking a mattress and putting it down on a hard surface and then having to worry about it. We take that whole entire assembly and now you can flip this up. So now once everybody's out of bed, you go and you wanna use the restroom like we were just showing you. I have got a huge area back here that now I can access, I can get to it. And what I like about it is now I can sit down on this little bench seating that's back here in the back. If I wanna put my shoes and socks on, I got an area to do it. I don't have to worry about trying to lean over the bed or do anything. I also have lots of great storage that's back here in the back. So as I sit here on my, on my, uh, my bench back here, I can get to all my storage. So now if I've got my shoes and my socks and anything else that's located here, I can get to them easily. I don't have to be bending around something. Another thing that we do back here is we also have another um, ped table location. Now the ped table location will give you a place where you can put a secondary um, table. And now if the kids wanna come back here and they wanna have their snacks or they wanna hook up their Xbox or they wanna do something back here, watch the TV that's back here, because we do have an optional TV available. 
you can do all that back here. So you really have two separate entertaining areas. And if you count the patio on, you really, you're down to three in a motorhome that's only going to be 26 feet long when it's all said and done. And I've got places to put my kids, to put my friends, to put my family, whatever I want to do, this motorhome can provide it. And remember, this is the kind of motorhome that costs the same kind of money as your big luxury SUVs today, except now I can use the restroom, take a nap, or anything else that I want to in this kind of vehicle. This is really a great vehicle for someone that maybe has kids, that does travel sports, uh, maybe somebody that likes to go out and just enjoy nature and wants something that puts a, a small footprint and is very eco-conscious. This could be the perfect motorhome for you. So look for this new Gemini motorhome. You're going to see it on lots very soon, right after the first of the year. And uh, check back to ThorMotorCoach.com uh, to get any of the latest updates or any new floor plans that we may offer sometime next year.